We are back to the book of Exodus and we are looking at the second plague. And that is in Exodus chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. And the Lord spoke to Moses, go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, let my people go that they may serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, behold, I'll smite all your territory with frogs. The first plague of turning the waters of Egypt into blood lasted for about one week, seven days. And after seven days, the Lord in his mercy restored the waters of Egypt. However, the first plague did not turn the heart of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was still stubborn. Uh, he was unyielding. And because of Pharaoh's stubbornness, the Lord issued instructions to Moses for a second plague. And the second plague was also going to be directed at the waters of Egypt, and it was going to be a plague of frogs. One of the things you do as you study the scriptures is don't just look at what is happening, but in all that is happening, you learn about the ways of God. So even in the plagues and how they occur, you learn something very valuable about the plagues of God. And one of the things you learn here is that God will always warn us before something is done. And you see throughout scripture, he tells you what is about to happen if a condition persists. And if you let it persist, then he would bring to pass what he says will happen. So he issues uh, a warning to Pharaoh. First, he issues a demand notice. Let my people go. And this is something he's been saying right from the beginning. Let my people go. They are not your people. They are my people. Let them go. Free them. And from the first time God met Moses on Mount Horeb, he's been making this demand. Go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. And his purpose has remained the same. He doesn't change. All he wants is to get out his people from Egypt. And then after the demand notice, he issues something out of his foreknowledge, a warning, if you refuse to let them go. The Lord knew Pharaoh's predisposition. He knew the man's stubbornness. He knew his hardness of heart. And he knew that in spite of his oft-repeated demand, let my people go, this guy had a very stubborn heart. So he gives him a warning. If you refuse to let my people go. If you refuse to do what is right, then he issues a warning. I will smite all your territory with frogs. So this is a warning direct to Pharaoh. But it's not just a warning of God coming to say, oh, I'm going to smite you with frogs. He says, first I demand, let my people go. If you don't let them go, this is what is going to happen. And that is God's way of dealing with us. He's going to tell you, this is my purpose for you. If you don't obey me, this is what is going to happen. I want to bless you. If you do this, I will bless you. Judgment is coming. If you don't turn your heart, then the judgment will come upon you. And the frogs were going to come upon the land of Egypt. But God gave them a fair warning and indicated the nature of the plague coming so that if Pharaoh had any heart in him, if he had any humanity and any uh, sense of uh, obedience, uh, then Pharaoh would say, okay, Lord, I'll, I'll let your people go. But this is a stubborn man. And I pray none of us will have a hard heart like Pharaoh where God tells you something he's going to do, warns you, and we don't yield until the judgment comes upon us. Let us pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are our deliverer. Smite every evil force that resists your purposes. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, we'll continue tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.